Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us today for a uh, um, quick uh, coaching demo. We love, love, love. Actually, it's my favorite program. Um, for some of you who are new to the healing community is of frequencies. Um, the coaching module is very unique. It has, it's basically put together by uh, Time Waiver, our parent company. Uh, has been as a German company has been around for 15 years, and what they have done is they have collected a lot of data and have this humongous database of um, um, people, and uh, with over thousand uh, a thousand databases, they are able to put together a. a, a a slimmed down version of the coaching module and make it available to the Healy community. And what it does is it actually works um, uh, uh, similar to the with similar to the aura analysis. It can actually uh, um, uh, capture your frequencies, analyze it and spit out uh and give you insights of your 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 present state and your desired state in order to put to bring it to into optimization right so with the coaching analysis is uh how we're being and it has to do with our past our past trauma our past experience it can go as far as our parents our ancestor so these elements kind of basically our experience and and all these things shapes how we are today and it kind of just put like a, some kind of a lens and how we are uh, you know certain things happen in front of us we will react and certainly because of the way we are right and because of that um, there's certain things we don't see or we see it differently and because of that you will take different actions and to a certain extent it can also uh, prevent you to unleash your potential because in some way uh, you may unknowingly, unknowingly or unconsciously sabotage yourself by putting blockage and blocking yourself and and, and do that so having the coaching analysis having the insights have uh, as long as you are intentional into wanting to accept these insights you can actually transform your life so i think we're going to get started that's kind of a little snapshot. If you want to get a scan, please reach out to your friends to get a scan and you will be amazed. And today we have Lorraine here, who, who's our guinea pig, who is going to uh, join us in um, help us to show this amazing module. And uh, we're going to get started. You can see the screen of my, of my Healy. Before you start, the first thing to do is to connect your Healy. The easiest way to do that is you go to the bottom right. There's a little gear button. Uh, you tap on that. And then there's a, it says connect to your Healy. You tap on that and it will search for your Healy. Of course, I turn on my Healy and it's looking, um, it, it's connected through Bluetooth. So it's looking for the Healy. And for some of you may wonder, and then when you see that it's detected my Healy and it says not connected, I just literally tap my finger on the word not connected. It will connect to the Healy. Okay, so it's connecting right now, right? Um, there's it, it's done, okay? Then we're ready to start. Now for some of you wonder, um, once you install your app, uh, you actually don't need to connect to the Wi-Fi if you don't want to. You can actually just put on an airplane mode. As long as you have the Bluetooth on, you can use any of the uh, Healy app, the blue app or the pink app. So you actually don't have to be constantly connected to Wi-Fi because some people don't want to do that. Okay, let's get started. Our coaching analysis is right there in the center. So you just literally, uh, once the, your, your app is installed, it's very easy to use. You just tap on it. And what I like about these programs are you don't need to be a rocket scientist. You literally just need to know how to tap and then it will just spit out the report. So I'm going to look for Lorraine in my profile. And I already set up a profile, right? So Lorraine. Yeah, my picture, my, my picture. Oh, you know what? I don't know why it didn't, didn't maybe I, oh, I didn't save it. Yes. Sorry about that. So I am going to update your profile first. It didn't save it. So I am going to save your profile. That's fine. Okay, great.
Okay, so so when we do our coaching analysis, we need to know our focus statement, what we desire. So would you like to share with us your your desire today? Yeah, I am manifesting. How about just I manifest? Like it's kind I of manifest. like an affirmation. Yeah. Yeah, positive thoughts and feelings. I love that. So I just want to make a note about the focus statement. It has to be positive because unknowingly you could say that I have no money or I'm poor or something like that. Whenever you use negative words like that, you unknowingly actually by saying you're actually attracting it. So when you are doing meditation or doing whatever this type of thing, it's important to put a positive statement, basically um, what you desire. So that is actually the minute you put your intention out there, you can actually start attracting from the universe and actually manifesting what you, you need. So that's why we're doing it this way. Okay, and then there are 10 databases. Uh, you can see them. There are over a thousand um, databases. So if you look at in, in different categories, right? The first one has to do with Korea type of uh, database, emotional balance. You can see a number next to it, right? So Korea does 366 databases and it will analyze the database and then find the one that's most relevant to Lorraine today. So Lorraine, there are 10 categories. So pick two or three areas that you think will support you manifesting your focus. Emotional balance. Yeah. Family relationships. Oh, um, how may I suggest spirituality? Yeah, pardon? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy with that. And again, there's there is no people are very sometimes worried about oh i don't know how to use this or i need to know exactly no it is not just go with the flow whatever feels right to you is the right thing so there's no right or wrong and the more you use it the more you will um uh, understand it and you use it to your own needs okay so the reason why i've only picked two or three is we want the report to be specific if you pick all of them or you pick like a lot the report come out to be like a 50 list then it'd be less useful then you you would not be focusing as much on the highest relevant area so we want to limit to, to the number of area but you can actually pick as many as you want and in each of the area it, like for example the emotional balance has a database of 136 if i tap on the little arrow at the end it actually breaks down to three area emotional harmony energy power and living consciously and again i just want to limit to one you can pick two or three you can only pick one area if you want so it's up to your own needs so for today we're gonna keep it as simple as it is just one in each area so we can get a more um, precise uh, reading for our lowering and that's it and you just press the button and you see the magic happen. So that's it. it with a little little tick mark at the top, you just tap. And then we are ready to go and start analysis. And all it takes is for Lorraine to be intentional, relax. The Healy through quantum is picking up her vibration. Analyze it. And then give us some insight of what she need to focus to uh, manifest her desire, the focus statement. So, uh, and at this moment, you can actually share your report with your friends and if you tap actions at the bottom, this is my favorite part is like pay it forward. You love your Healy, go and offer these report to your friends, right? Offer a reading and you go show PDF, tap on that, it's generating a PDF report. On the top right, you tap on that, and then you just put the easiest, you can save it in your hard drive or you can just email it. And I love to share these with my friend. And you have the emails available, so you'll just, that, that's the coaching. 
and that's it and you just send it off with that top right and it's done so the whole report is sent to my friend and but we're going to do a demo here so um so lorraine you don't have to yeah. you know uh, disclose and uh, feel as comfortable as you are to share as much as you're comfortable but if certain things that are private you just have to tell us that you got it if you yeah. feel comfortable we do want to invite you to share more so that the community get to understand how to interpret this stuff okay so again I it's totally your personal reflection whatever comes to mind is it okay and yeah. um before i start uh if any of these points doesn't resonate with you when you these do this analysis the same with the aura you actually have this this red cross here you can actually delete it because everyone is different uh when you see a point it may be totally irrelevant to you or you don't feel it or maybe you're not ready to face it or to do anything with it feel free to just tap the cross and delete the point okay or yeah. if you want to enhance it with your own experience there's a little pencil on the on the on the bottom left if you tap on it on every single the point you can enhance it with more background information and description to make it more personal to your situation so that you can fully like kind of tailor made this to your own needs okay okay all right let's just go through them one by one the first one and um and and i just want to take a moment is the the first one is the highest relevance it shows 97 percent again the how would the calculate the, the 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 percentage is calculated don't worry about it there's science behind it and you just have to know the highest means is more relevant to your situation today actually at this moment when we take a snapshot of your scan of your energy right if you go to the bottom of the report it goes down to 59 percent it's just relatively is less relevant that you need to focus. Yeah. still let I me mean, if it comes up on this report it's still very much high that relevant compared to the 1000 database out there right but it just yeah. gives you like a relativity right so it tells you obviously you want to focus on the highest one and then go down like this okay and um okay let's just get started and the first one is spirituality yeah i guess that's pretty uh, uh self-explanatory yeah. right okay yeah. so i guess by manifesting that you will achieve your focus okay so we're yeah. just gonna go to the second one so i'm just gonna read it for people who have uh, because the word is a little 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 small okay so i live my spirituality i am an open channel for love and healing the second one it has to do with family relationships it's yeah. really interesting why family relationships come up even though you did not pick it i did because no uh you did oh okay I did. good okay that's that's good i thought yeah you didn't okay that's good so but sometimes you will see some point that pick out from a category that you didn't choose sometimes and yeah. that's because the Healy just thing is relevant, so it's just spit out. But you picked it, which is good, okay? So this has to do with the area of harmonization of areas of life. So the desire stays is I experience gentle, regular, and timely harmonization in the area in the area of self. Does yeah. this resonate with you? Yeah, it does. Do you want to share a little bit reflection? Um yeah, I'm at this moment in time, I am working on um I'm, I've I've got a fear that I'm really struggling with and that I am really trying to bring peace and calm into my life and replace the fear with peace and calm, which would be harmoni harmonization. Yes, and also that, that's 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 good that's important right so again it's being to focus on self right and yeah. as you know yeah. some people in fact uh, um i just want to elaborate a little bit especially when it comes to women sometimes we overextend in serving others serving our spouse our husband or our children and we actually forget about self-care yeah right so into the area of family relationship you can you can imagine it we need to strike a balance right so in here specifically for you is reminding you to focus more on your self-care does that make sense yeah 
Uh, which is which resonate with you you are actually doing that which is great okay yeah the next yeah. one again is family relationship again uh experience gentle and regular timely uh harmonization in the area of sports that does not resonate with me at all okay which is fine this is a good example yeah. you can actually cross it out and perhaps again i'm just trying to uh provide a little bit of guidance just interpretation because i've been doing this a lot more is sometimes you might want to dig a little deeper into um understanding when it comes to sports again let's go back to your focus based statement it's positive thoughts and feelings right yeah uh, how often you exercise oh not do often you enough. feel like you're exercising enough yes i do However, doing doing exercise creates um, feel good chemicals in the brain, serotonin, right? So I guess what it is saying is, if I did more exercise, I would have more of the happy chemicals floating around my body. Exactly, and maybe perhaps the different type of sports, right? Yeah, right. It could be. Uh, I don't know. Do you do yoga? Yes, I do. Oh, that's great. And then there are also different exercises that maybe uh, you might want to explore more, right? Maybe do yeah. some research in this area. Maybe there's some sports that you have not done for whatever reasons that can further enhance that in terms yeah. of making you feel positive and yeah. uh, good feeling. So I guess that's the that's exactly yeah. what it is. Okay, great. Yeah. <clears throat> and again, it's just uh gentle regular okay next one yeah <coughs> do you mind readings for us pardon do you mind reading it for us no not at all so my um it's so it's coming up with living consciously in emotional balance my desired state is i am living consciously I experience myself as part of the whole and at the same time, I am, I am of free will. By combining this, I recognise and balance the polarity between honesty towards the self versus dishonesty towards the self. Well, yeah. so I'm about as self-aware as anybody that I know. I, I live my life consciously. I'm, you know, I'm a counsellor. I'm an emotion coach. I analyze myself on a regular basis so um and i'm quite open to seeing the negatives in me as well as the positives so i i i personally i do feel that i recognize the balance and the polarity between honesty that that's great that is great and some of these mm. could be just reminder right for you to yeah. for enhance. Yeah. and i just want to make a note here i've done a lot of scan for people yeah. actually not done any meditation or not very in tune with energies or anything, and they actually would tell me that I don't get this or this is yeah. not relevant to me. In fact, the people who actually practice more like, you know, yoga yeah. or meditation, they, because they height, their awareness is actually very heightened. They can actually get even deeper. They are more yeah. self-aware. So, uh, uh, so I always say there's nothing wrong here. <laughs> you don't feel it doesn't mean nothing is wrong or you feel it yeah. doesn't mean there's anything wrong. So it's really great that you are sharing your experience that yeah. gives you that you can actually really get deeper into interpreting this. And actually it's just a reminder by the, focusing more about the, the yeah. this part, you can even get deeper in, into more what you want to manifest. And again, personal yep. growth is the endless thing, right? Which is beautiful. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And Absolutely. you understand how this one can can bring yep. you this uh, manifestation. Okay. Yep. The next one. Can you read it? Yeah. My um, desired state. I live my spirituality. Where I am, there is God. I love that. I love that. Uh, okay. So that one's pretty uh, straightforward. Yeah. And again, you know, sometimes with all the craziness, right, it just affects my feeling almost every day. When I read a piece of news, it affects me, right? And so yeah. having God and knowing that you are, you know, where you are, God is always there. It's just huge, right? Yeah. And just break, give you that freedom, right? And freedom yeah. affect your feelings, right? Yeah. So next one. So emotional balance again, emotional harmony, my desired state, all my feelings are equally valid. They deserve to be acknowledged and to be consciously considered by me. 
My desired state is I respect my feelings and let them happen in a non-judgmental way. Now, I think that is true of all of us because we will have, say, an anxiety or a feel, a fear. And the first thing we say to ourselves is, oh, don't be silly, Lorraine. You shouldn't be feeling like this. Right. So you immediately judge yourself um, and then you probably compare yourself to other people that are in a similar situation, but not handling it the same way as you. And then you tell yourself that you're wrong. Um, and I love this one because this is validating the fact that you should just love and accept yourself for who and how you are. So I think that is fantastic. And yes, I, I, that, that resonates is fantastic. Me. I love it. You totally got this. <laughs> You totally got this. And it's a good reminder for all of us ourselves. And if we continue yeah. to practice that, because sometimes we just lose sight of that. And I do, I, I you know, when I, if I see something like this, it will just remind. And it's so beautiful. And just just self-expression, right? Yes. Non-judgmental. Beautifully written. Next so one. The next, yeah, family relationships, boundaries, and team spirit. My desired state. I optimize the relationship between boundaries and team spirit. I recognize the unconscious causes that lead me to try to feel complete through association with other people and thereby identify too strongly with their feelings and sensitivities. My, des my desired state description is I am filled with wholeness within me and I am wholeness in harmonizing and loving acting. Now, if I'm honest, May, I would have put that as my number one thing. So, I'm going to share it with the group and obviously anyone who listens on um, YouTube. My fear and anxiety that I am encountering at the moment is um, I'm a single mum to one son. So I've spent his entire life on my own with him and we are preparing for him to go off to university. Um, it, I've still got some time, but I am really not looking forward to that time because I've I've never been without him um and so this personifies that fear and that's why I'm amazed that's not number one I would if I could move it I'd move that to the top of my list you know what thank you so much for sharing this is beautiful and you are because you're, you, you, you are a practitioner, you're very uh, in tune with your own self-awareness. Yes. This is beautiful. So, and, and I, I'm glad this resonated with you. Yeah. Uh, I can, it's totally fine if you want to move this as number one. That's why you can completely cross out all the other ones. So I say just, as I said at the beginning, it's completely personalized. But I would like yes. to offer a slight of experience from my, how I use it. it is I have come to just trust the healing. That's just yeah. like a, you can say it's blind faith, right? So sometimes, if I may, uh, we are not, it, it, you know, as much as we try to be self-aware all the time, but we are not, right? You know, yeah. because there's a, there's 90% is our subconscious mind, right? So what the healing can tap into is that 90% of unconscious mind of you to come up this report. So those re those points about that, which I send you the report, are there for a reason. That uh, basically telling you that is you need to focus those more before this one point. Not saying that this is yeah. not important. No, so it's sense. just kind of put it out there to kind of try it. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? To I do to, to dig, dig a little deeper with it, yeah, right? If I get full of these right, then that one will sort itself out. And yeah, exactly, exactly. They're, and you can see that actually they're all related too, right? And yeah. again, take it into whatever way that suits you and take yeah. it at whatever bite size. I always encourage people that just take baby step every single day because every yeah. single person, when they get the healing, they want to know it all. I'm like, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> just learn yeah. a little bit each day and then you will get there. And yeah. um, so this is just another thing, right? Um, yeah. Um, take it easy with yourself, and I, I'm so glad this point is helpful to you. And, it, and right. then, the, and then as you go, and you will find the coaching, uh, you'll be able to use uh, into um, more. Okay, yeah. next point. So emotional um, balance, energy, and power. I recognize the unconscious causes of my unwillingness to exhaust myself. My desired state, I am willing and able, I'm unrestricted, life force, and joy of life in loving action. I love that. That's lovely. If, if yeah. we could all be that way, right? Yeah. 
then I've got emotional balance, living consciously. I am living consciously. I realize that my supposed awareness only serves my old patterns and programs and that in truth, I am blocking my own awareness. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. Then I've got family relationships, dissolve imprints and ancestral claims. I recognize my imprints and ancestral claims. I'm resolving the chaos in my life. God, I am trying to. <laughs> I, I wonder if you, if I may go back to the last point a little bit, do you, do you want to elaborate a little bit your, your, what you get out of that point? Well, the thing is, again, as I said to you, I'm so self-aware, like I'm counselling myself at the moment, right? And I'm healing and treating myself. I know what to do. I know what to work on. So I am living very consciously at this moment in time and always. So okay. that, if I'm honest, doesn't okay. resonate. If, if I may, I just want to just, just read this again for you, okay? Just meditate over this, okay? Again, it's up to you how you want to do it. It's just... I realized that my supposed awareness only serves my old pattern and pat and programs. And that in truth, I am blocking my own, uh, my own aware awareness. In truth, I am blocking my own, own awareness. It, it, it's interesting. So all I'm asking yeah. is to meditate over this and yeah. See if you can find something in this, okay? That's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. All right. Totally. Yeah. Because it's it, you know, everybody is just it's their own journey, okay? I just find yeah. this interesting how it's written, right? <laughs> yeah. No, it is it is very interesting to read. There's so much yeah. of it as well. Yeah, it is. Um, so with family relationships, dissolve imprints and desired claims. I recognize my imprints and ancestral claims. I'm resolving the chaos in my life. Yeah, I am. I am definitely trying to do that. Um, then spirituality. And before side. we go on, like this one is ancestral uh, claims, right? Yeah. But this one is more into really subconscious, like basically how you are right because it's also your parents or maybe your grandparents or something right yeah. that those ancestral implants are in you and yeah. causing how you are how you react to whatever is happening in your life and yeah. so you are resolving the chaos in your life right okay yeah and i can relate to that i really can relate to that okay perfect right spirituality silence the following silence meditation strengthens me when all thoughts have been thought and all words have been spoken all feelings have been lived through silence returns that's great yeah and again that's what we're all trying to get to right that place mm -hmm. of peace yeah yeah life just gets in the way of that Mm -hmm. because it's with so much happening sometimes we forget to get back in science and nurture our yeah being, our feelings right okay totally. last, the last one yeah then the last one spirituality is breath the following breathing meditation strengthens me i visualize a luminous golden sphere above my head the inhale oh sorry with the inhale, its light flows into my crown chakra. With the exhalation, it flows into my body. Everything is permanent. Oh, sorry, I've got someone trying to call me because I've actually got to go in like eight minutes. Okay. With the inhale, its light flows into my crown chakra. With the exhalation, it flows into my body. Everything is permeated and completely filled by this divine light energy. Okay, great. So that one yeah. is pretty self-explanatory again, okay? So, and yeah. I just want to just, uh, before I close off on this uh, session, is that with the Healy, now, if you don't have the Healy, you can actually just take this report and you can meditate over it and, uh, and then just to get some of the um, uh, uh, essence from the desired state descriptions and you can really optimize your energy and it will help you to achieve the result. Now with the Healy, with the coaching program is, Really, all you need to get started is your intention. That's so important. When, as you're reading your report and reading the desired state descriptions and putting your in, in, intention 
out there and basically asking for what you desire, right? Once you put the intention out there, you are basically uh, opening up yourself to the universe, attract all that abundance into you um, to make it happen, to achieve your focus statement, right? And the with the Healy, you can actually go a step further. Once you have the intention and that you are taking an active stand in these intentions, you can actually vibrate. And I'm just going to show you when you press the, the, the button here, vibrate. And you can choose anywhere between a few seconds to uh, a few uh, hours. It's up to you. And you don't have to be still. You could be still doing your work or cooking or sleeping, whatever, just having the intention. And, and I'm just going to do, a, do, do a, quick, a quick demo here. You can just pick whatever you want. And if you go at start, it will vibrate a frequency of, to help you to achieve the desired state. So, uh, and, and that's it. And then um, you could actually read the report. He's, these are the desired state statement and be intentional and manifest that energy. And you can see the two lines there, the red line and the blue line here. It's one of the lines consistently capturing your frequency, which just changes from moment to moment. Analyze it and spit out what you need. And over time, and the funny, the, the, the interesting thing is, it works because I've used this a few times. One, the first time I used it was for my own emotional well-being. And it literally, I felt the difference after 10 minutes. It was like light and day. The second one, I used it for my own personal relationships. My personal relationship was transformed. And I was just being, being able to be functioning based on the intention and um, really improve my relationships and the third time was on my business in manifesting uh, you know uh, wealth and abundance and it also worked too the result actually speaks for itself so um yeah so go and reach out to your friend get a scan and if you have this haven't tried this uh you know set it up and use it and uh, share your experience and that's it so thank you for, for joining us today and uh I'm going to stop the recording now, and if you want to scan, please reach out to your friend or myself.